Welcome back Tightwads. It's nearing the end of May here in Georgia and as you can see our knockout roses have bloomed through the first cycle. So now we have a lot of dead rose heads on our bushes. So today we're going to look at dead heading knockout roses. Uh, you'll see a common misconception that people think all you do is pinch off the tips of the heads uh, like this or just pinching them off with your hand like this. And that's not really an effective method. Uh, these shoots, like these, will not be reblooming again. So the first thing you do when you want to deadhead is you look down the stem, use your gloves, because uh, they do have thorns, but look for your first shoot with five leaves. And you want to prune all the way down to that. So we're going to look down. This is our first shoot with five leaves. It's kind of puny though, so I'm going to go ahead and go to the next one on this one. And you just clip it off and throw that out and do this all over your bush and once you're done your roses will bloom a lot hardier the next bloom uh, because they'll have less of the bush to sustain some people don't want to expel all their blooms because as you can see some of them still have color even though it's a couple of petals uh, my wife prefers the color to stay so what i like to do is if there is a cluster of roses with a few petals left to appease her, I will just go ahead and pinch off the top blooms and leave the others. And hopefully within a few days, maybe a week, uh, we'll have some new blooms coming on and I'll be able to come back and cut those out. Uh, this shoot right here has a good example of a new shoot growing on it. You'll see the new growth right here. So be sure when you're pruning, I'll only lop off this section so that the new shoot will continue to grow and that one will have roses very soon. Uh, so make sure you uh, keep an eye out for the new shoots. This is new growth. You can see it's lighter green, has some really red leaves and some buds about to come out. So make sure that you leave those alone. All right, I've gone through and deadheaded my three knockout rose bushes on this side of the house. And you can see I still have some color left. I have some new blooms coming out soon. Uh, and you can see there's not a lot of deadheads left. There are a couple. I wasn't very meticulous this time, but uh, this isn't a necessary process for new blooms to come out. But it's nice to do if your bush, if you just like your bushes to look nice. If you maybe have people coming over for a party or um, if you work in a nursery and want your plants to look nice for the customers, it's a good idea to keep the deadheads trimmed off. 